because I was looking through some old photos and it looks very uh, similar. I don't know if I should be insulted or flattered. It's kind of funny because I just finished up H Bomber Guy's video on this exact same thing. Who knew I'd be celebrating 6,000 subscribers like this? Now, I'm not into drama or talking about myself all that much on here. I just try and make videos that I hope people find entertaining. But I feel like I should call this out strictly for the principle of the whole thing. So this YouTuber called Age of Wrestling made the DEFINITIVE wrestling video game Iceberg. This video has a lot of instances where he straight up plagiarizes my wrestling video game Iceberg I made over two years ago. Now before we move on, I just want to make it abundantly clear that I am not trying to say that I own making Iceberg videos or, or only I can make a video on this certain specific topic. Anyone can. I also understand that because both of our videos are about the same topic, similar points or entries will come up in both videos. I understand that. My issue is that for a decent portion of these entries, Age of Wrestling quite literally lifts from my video, with the only difference being slight word changes and its own voice narration. So let's hear some examples. My video, the original, will play first, followed by Age of Wrestling's video, which is the copy. A bug happened where the game was made unplayable in the year 2020. I'm not making this up. 2K20 was unplayable in the year 2020. Crazy. The glitches led to critic and fan disappointment and led to 2K21 being skipped outright. A bug even happened where the game was made unplayable on the first day of 2020. 2K20 was unplayable in the year 2020. That's how bad it was, and it contributed to 2K21 being skipped outright. I like to point out that, just like me, he starts off the video with this very same entry about WWE 2K20. Take note of the dialogue. 2K20 was unplayable in the year 2020. 2K20 was unplayable in the year 2020. 2K21 being skipped outright. 2K21 being skipped outright. Coincidence? Hmm. Let's move on. If he is, then he'll be the only one that's been in a WCW game, a WWE game, a TNA game, and an AEW game. That's probably gonna stand forever, not unless Kevin Nash, Scott Steiner, or Booker T get into an AEW game. Or an even more unlikely scenario, TNA gets another game and Jericho winds up in there somehow. As he is the only wrestler to appear in a WCW game, TNA game, WWE game, and AEW game. It's only fitting for the icon and it's probably going to stand forever unless Kevin Nash, Scott Steiner or Booker T get into an AEW video game or if Chris Jericho somehow lands himself on a TNA game. It's kinda crazy that he lists those four specific wrestlers like I do in that exact same order. Kevin Nash, Kevin Nash, Scott Steiner, Scott Steiner or Booker T, or Booker T get into an AEW game, get into an AEW video game. And also brings up the exact same point that I do. Another coincidence? I guess. Next one. Harvey D. Mike Iceberg. Curtis Angel. Andy Organ. Who has a finisher called the RAO. <laughs> and listen to this theme song. There's wrestlers like Curtis Angel, Harvey D. Mike Iceberg. And Andy Organ. Who has a finisher called the RAO, and just take a listen to his theme song. Once again, bringing up the exact same wrestlers, although he slightly changed the order this time. He could have mentioned the other wrestlers that are also in the game, but he just so happened to mention the ones that I do. He also mentions Andy Organ's RAO finisher, then segueing into his theme song. The exact same way that I do. And because I suck at making videos, you can tell he lifted footage from my video. In my video, I accidentally leave the video scaled too small. Notice Age of Wrestling's video right around the same time is a little blurry and pixelated. Why is that? Because he scaled up the footage from my video, thus causing pixelation. Next, Owen Hart was featured in WWF Attitude. The game came out a month after his tragic death. There was this opening screenshot paying respect to him, and the blue blazer outfit was taken out of the game. This would be the last WWE game that would feature Owen Hart, and due to the circumstances surrounding his death, his wife Martha will probably not have anything to do with WWE, so we'll never see Owen in WWE anything. Owen Hart tragically died in May of 1999 by falling 78 feet in an arena. 
One month after his death though, WWF Attitude was released and he was a playable character in the game. There was an opening screenshot that paid respect to him and the blue blazer outfit was taken out of the game. This would be the last WWE game that would feature Owen Hart and due to the circumstances surrounding his death, his wife Martha will most likely never allow him to feature in a WWE game ever again. Like I think you get it at this point. I can go on and on but we don't have all day. And if you still think this is all just one big coincidence, I still have my ace in a hole, my trump card, my Exodia. Let's listen. You can pick up any wrestling game at random and odds are there will be multiple wrestlers who are now dead in there. It's a sad part of the business that's getting better today, but this is crazy. Showdown Legends of Wrestling is the leader with the most wrestler deaths with 35 wrestlers being dead. 48% of the wrestlers in this game are dead. You can pick up any wrestling game at random and odds are there will be multiple wrestlers who are now dead in there. The game Showdown Legends of Wrestling has the unfortunate honor of being the wrestling game with the most wrestler deaths, with 35 wrestlers being dead. That means 48% of the wrestlers in this game are dead. He lifts the exact same stats from my video. This is actually the most damning for him because my video is over 2 years old. These stats are outdated. More wrestlers have died since then. Here, let me do the research that he was obviously too lazy to do. 39 out of 73 wrestlers have now passed away from Legends of Wrestling Showdown, bringing the percentage up around 53%. So yeah, if that doesn't prove that this dude shamelessly steals, I have even more. So get this, I'm not the only person Age of Wrestling has taken from in this video. WrestleMania is a popular wrestling YouTuber who has a spin-off channel called WrestleGamia. He has a video on that channel called 10 Strangest WWE Video Game Anomalies. So let's look at WrestleGamia's clip first, followed by Age of Wrestling. Now the iconic WWF scratch logo that was used throughout the Attitude Era defined the beloved period between 1997 and 2001 extremely well. The product was gritty, realistic and hardcore. However, did you know that the scratch logo actually made an appearance in a WWE video game three years before it debuted on television? Yeah, in the 1994 release of WWF Raw, the Scratch logo can be seen on the side of the monitor during the loading screens before the match. This meant that the Scratch logo must have been made years prior to its actual debut. The iconic Scratch logo that was used throughout the Attitude Era defined the beloved period between 1997 and 2001 extremely well. However, did you know that the Scratch logo actually made an appearance in a WWF video game three years before it was debuted on television? In the 1994 release of WWF Raw, the Scratch logo can be seen on the side of the monitor during the loading screens before a match. This means that the Scratch logo was made years prior to its actual debut. It's even worse than when he copies me. I'm assuming because I have jokes and comedic bits in my videos that he has to work around while WrestleGamia is more straightforward. Let's look at one more. How it's unusual for a WWE release to differ from region to region. It's unusual for a WWE game to differ from region to region. However, in SmackDown 2, there was a bizarre change which left players puzzled. However, in SmackDown 2, there was a bizarre change that left players puzzled. The red car that drove in front of the arena in the backstage area was changed and remodeled for the European version. The red car that drove in front of the arena in the backstage area was different in the American and European versions. The European version of the red vehicle was made to look more of a sports car than a traditional classic car. The European version of the red vehicle was made to look more of a sports car and the American version was made to look more like a traditional classic car. Interestingly, when the black car would drive in front of the arena, there wasn't hardly any difference between the American and European designs of that specific vehicle, which certainly adds to the confusion. But interestingly, when the black car would drive in the backstage area, there was hardly any difference between the American and European designs of that specific vehicle, which certainly added to the confusion. You can even notice Age of Wrestling zooms in in an attempt to hide WrestleGamia's watermark. So yeah, no more beating a dead horse at this point. To put a bow on things, Age of Wrestling is a two-bit thief who steals others' work because he's too lazy to do it himself. I couldn't be bothered to look into his other videos to see if he stole other stuff from other creators. But if I was a betting man, and I am, I bet he did. He and others that are like him are content creators, and I mean that as a complete insult. These people don't make videos for enjoyment or to make something genuinely fun or interesting. They do it to churn out as much content as humanly possible in the quickest amount of time. 
How can he do that? Well, stealing for one. I don't even have a problem with him taking my footage from my video or even using the topic. It's the fact that he steals scripts and research, which is hours of work, while not even putting in any effort to hide the fact that he did so. Not even a cheap attempt to plug myself or WrestleGamia in a description. Not like that would have made it better anyway, mind you. Oh, but he put those 8,000 tags like this is a YouTube video from the fucking year 2000 and fucking seven. I didn't even know people still do this. It was only a matter of time before you got caught, my man. Well, anyway, that's the video. Don't expect more like this. We'll be back to normalcy for the next videos. Peace.